the angry Italy. I think this is extra angry. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look, I'm breaking sweats. Mmm. <laughs> What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful San Francisco, California. Today I'm super excited because I'm here with Yem Kim Phan, a foodie blogger from San Fran, and you haven't eaten Indian food before. I'm so excited because he seems to be the expert in Indian cuisine. So tell me all about it, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so today we're gonna actually be eating here at Curry Up Now. Started as a food truck, yep. then they opened this location. They're actually starting to franchise and they do a little bit of a different concept, right? So they have like Indian street food, but then they also have like Indian burrito. They have a big menu, but we're gonna do some unique things, some things that are, you know, you know, standard Indian street food, which you haven't tried before. Never tried, yeah. So you've never been to India, obviously. I've never been to India. So what, what do you usually focus on, like Asian food? Or? Asian food. Asian cuisine. I eat a lot of Asian food. So, I mean, India is still South Asia, exactly. but I've never been there. Yeah, it's a little different though. You know, like North India is all about curries. South India is all about like rice. Got it. Okay. It's, okay. it's very unique. And I'm excited because I haven't even heard about this place. Yeah. And this place, they said that they're doing very different. It's more like creative Indian cuisine. So it's not going to be something you're able to find in India almost. Exactly. Yeah, but it has that all the spice and all the flavors, right? Yeah. But you definitely have to try some of the stuff that I want you to try some okay. Indian street food. You're gonna love it. Okay. Are you ready to go inside? Yes, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's meet with Peter. He's the manager. He's gonna take us to the back. We're gonna see how some of these dishes are made. Look at this menu. So look at the burrito options, right? It's an Indian burrito. Yeah, so they got burritos. Over here they have Indian street foods, street snacks, tally. Pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> pizza. Indian pizza. Amazing, right? What is that? Okay, so these so are the ones that you... Yeah, I don't know what any of these things are. None. Like none. I okay. can't even pronounce it. So how do you say this? Puri? That's bel puri. Bel puri. Then yeah. dahi puri. This is the yogurt one. This is pani puri. So this is my favorite. Puri is like yogurt? No. Yogurt. So dahi is yogurt. Puri is like a puff ball uh -huh. made from either wheat or rice flour. Okay. So it really depends, but very small, right? Okay, okay. okay. It's almost like a... Oh, it's like a small puff ball. Got it. Okay. Hard to explain, but this is all the street foods we get. Love these. I love these. These are awesome. And samosa is like a like an empanada. Yes, yes, Kachori yes. is like a big puri. Mm -hmm. And then over here we have the sexy fries. We have yeah. deconstructed samosa. This is another like street food item. Yep. Let's go to the back. So Peter, what are we doing today? Well, I'm gonna make some good food, I think. Yeah, yeah. Let's make <laughs> everything you want, man. Yeah, yeah absolutely. The tikka masala burrito. Tikka masala? Yeah. Chicken. 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 Awesome. Yeah, love chicken. Works. I love chicken. It's our best seller. <laughs> <laughs> it's your best seller. Oh yeah, yeah. Best seller, right? Is it spicy? Uh, just a little bit. Ah, uh, I love spicy. Oh. Food, Do you like spicy? I love spicy. No way, <laughs> my friend. I eat everything spicy. Give me extra spice. That's a thick burrito. <laughs> that so looks good. So good. I can eat this whole entire thing by myself. <laughs> <laughs> you will. If you want to, you can have it. With your hands, huh? Yeah, he yeah. just use his hand. <laughs> you know, if you ever need to like shave your hand, just stick it in. <laughs> Ten seconds, yeah. Oh, it's like roasting. Oh, yeah, it's like 500 right. degrees in there. It's, yeah, it's deep fried David. It's like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like hot pockets. You like hot pockets, but that's actually Italy. That's steamed <laughs> rice cakes, but they're frying them, so it's a little different. Got it. They look like those little hot pockets, you know? What do you want on the fries? Oh, what do you what, what do you say? Was... So, tikka masala with either chicken or paneer. Chicken? Fried idli, huh? This the, is the thing that looks most familiar to me. Yeah, right. This is Chinese, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the Indo Chinese flair is so awesome, and the smell, the aroma. Look at that. Yeah. It's like. Mm -hmm. And it's spicy, right? Can you say it's chili? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty spicy. Oh, it's I spicy. hope it's, it's spicy. But it's, hopefully it's really spicy, right? You want really spicy? Yeah. I think this is the part where we, d we die. Ready? Look, the food will come delivered via robot. What? A robot? So this robot delivers the food? It does. It does? This one? That's crazy. San Francisco, everything uses robot. Like literally everything. Yeah? San Francisco. It's the future, right? This is like technology central. Silicon Valley, I actually saw robots on the street. Yeah. I was like, what is this? They're everywhere. I think those, I actually don't know what those robots on the streets are for. Oh, so you gotta grab it? Oh. Amazing. Food. It's literally telling us to take the food. Yeah, so. what happened if I don't? Like, yeah, no, right? I don't want to take the food. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, robot? 
<laughs> so demanding, you know? The future is here. <laughs> okay, my friend, are you ready for this? I'm so ready. Yeah? Wow, I don't even know how we start. I mean, we have five amazing things. So we have the naughty naan, right? Naughty naan, so it's like almost like a pizza. Then there's chicken tikka masala on top, there's cheese, there's jalapeno, and then I think you put parmesan on top? So this is mozzarella, but I think there's crumbles, right? Oh yeah, right? the crumbles are on top. Yeah, and then right here we have the sexy fries, right? These wafer fries, there's paneer on there, so, you know, cottage cheese, but the gravy, that's what makes this dish, you know? The wow. nice gravy, so I'm pretty sure it's tomato-based gravy. It almost looks like the butter chicken or the chicken tikka masala gravy. Yeah. Very similar, right? In this I feel like it's very like it's like uh, similar to poutine as well. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you're gonna get that feeling, right? Got but this is gonna be this is probably the best fries you're ever gonna have in your life, <laughs> just because the gravy makes it. Got it. Okay. okay. And then this is a burrito. I think it's chicken tikka masala burrito, right? So we're gonna open that up later. And then here we have the uh, the kachori chat. So this is kachori is like a lentil ball, mm -hmm. fry lentil ball. And this one, I mean, it's a chat. So chats are usually with yogurt. You got a bunch of different chutneys. So you have tamarind chutney, which is sweet. Okay. You have mint and cilantro, which is it's not spicy, it depends on who makes it. Got it. But okay, it okay. gives it a little, I guess, a little bit of fragrance, right? Okay. Then you have sev on top, which is part of all the chats in India. Like they put this like crunch, right? So it's gonna be like sweet, it's gonna be a lot of textures in there. And then this one looks amazing. So this is the Angry Italy Manchurian. So this is basically uh, fried Italy's, which are rice cakes. Yep. Right? So steamed rice cakes, they fry them. Then he added this sauce, the Manchurian sauce, but he also added like some, uh, what is it? Ghost pepper? Ghost pepper powder. <laughs> Why did you do that to me? <laughs> I didn't think it would be spicy enough. <laughs> it's gonna be spicy for sure. <laughs> and then right here we have the chai. So this is chai, so this is tea. I'm gonna do it the way I've learned, right? You ready for this? <laughs> Wow. All right, that's enough, that's enough. I don't want to make it I, I thought you were going to keep doing it back and I, forth. I, I back could. And forth. Yeah. So the reason for that is basically because this cup is cold. This one is boiling hot. Ah. So this is going to be colder. So if you want, you can have this Got one. It. Okay, okay, okay. Just careful because I did Got spill it. a little bit. But Got cheers. It. Cheers. Should I pour some on yours too or should... <laughs> I mean, you could, but we're going to spill some. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Mine's still very hot. Mmm. Mmm, cinnamon here, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like tea. But you know what? Is there milk in here? Because yeah, it's milk. like a milk tea almost. Yeah, very yeah. similar to like the Asian milk tea. Exactly. But it has like, yeah, cinnamon -y and yeah, other yes. spices. So the tea you're going to have in India is always milk tea. They always throw milk, they boil it, they mm -hmm. add cardamom, they add what else? Cinnamon sometimes, they add ginger. Mm -hmm. It really depends. Mm -hmm. This one I can feel a lot of uh, cinnamon. I taste a little bit of ginger too. Yeah. It should be in there. It just really depends who does wow, it. Some yeah. people do it with nothing and it's just like pretty plain. Got it. I need some cardamom, I need some cinnamon. Got it. Get a little sweetness because there's no sugar in here. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Delicious, right? I'm a fan. You're a fan? Yeah. So what do you want to try first? I think we should do the fries, right? The fries because I think the fries are going to get soggy soon. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, yes. And then definitely get a piece of that paneer. Mmm. Like Look at that. Really good. You ready for that bite? Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, no, stop here. Mm, yeah. Oh, it's mm. so good. It's like sweet potato. Yeah, Almost. right. I think yeah. it's sweet potato. Sweet potato pies. Yeah, but the, the gravy is what makes yeah. it, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> mm. This is like basically like a masala fries. So they have a creamy base, pour it on top with the paneer. So that's like almost paneer makhni. Mm. You know, you have chicken tikka masala or butter chicken, and that's really murg, murg makhni. Makhni is just, um, the, uh, the cream, basically, mm -hmm. that, that gravy aspect. Wow, so good, right? Yeah, and I'm surprised it's still really crispy. It's still really crispy, right? yeah, it's not too soggy. Obviously, yeah. we haven't let it sit there too long, yeah. but it's freaking delicious. What do you think of the, the paneer? This is... Yeah, I, I actually don't really like cheese that much, but this okay. is actually like... It's nice, right? Yeah. Because it's dense, it's not like salty. Mm. Mm. This is good. Mm. You know what? Mm. My last day in San Fran, I'm eating today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating. You're gonna get. You're gonna go to the airport in like three hours, right? So mm -hmm. maybe pack a burrito home. <laughs> so good, right? No. So you've had a lot of fries. Before? A lot of fries. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think of this one? I mean, it's completely different, right? This is really, really good. I know, I know. It's really, really good. And I think what makes this though is actually the sweet potato fries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
A little different, right? A little yeah. sweet, a little obviously thick, crispy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have that gravy that like flows through it all. And the yeah. paneer, I mean, this is just like, if you like veg, this is it. And it's so unique, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I've never had anything like this before. <laughs> I mean, this is awesome. I, the first time I had masala fries is actually this year at another restaurant in Boston. Okay. And I couldn't believe it because it's like, you have the best of both worlds. You have the creaminess of the curry yep, mixed yep, with yep. the french fries, yep. which is American thing, yeah. obviously. And then there's different in texture, right? Because it's mm -hmm. crunchy and then the sauce, yeah. Exactly. Man, it's so good. It's too good. <laughs> okay, one more, one more bite. <laughs> so next up, we're trying the kachori chat. So this is a real chat. So street foods in India, yep. it's like this. They'll add a bunch of different like sauces, which is called chutneys. Chutneys, yeah. And then this one has the kachori. So basically it has like a lentil fried ball. This is a very Rajasthani dish, the, the actual kachori. Okay. okay. So, but this is gonna be super creamy. It's gonna be refreshing. It's gonna be cold. cold. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. These are foreign words to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this breaks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be nice and refreshing. It's gonna be super cold. Wow. Mm. Mm. Sweet. Mm hmm. A oh, little really? bit of spice. Mm -hmm. It's from that little red sauce. Wow. But you have that yogurt. You have, I, I mean, for me, the tamarind's what makes it. I'm a big. The, a little I, bit of sour. Yeah. I'm not too much into sweets. Mm -hmm. Me neither. But this tamarind, like, I like that sweet chutney. It just I, changes all the flavors. I here, like right? the hint of spicy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice ball, huh? Yeah. It crumbles. You said, you said it's like lentil? Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot of things are made from lentil batter. This ball is made from lentils, mm -hmm. and it's fried. This is a kachori, a tiny one. Wow. You actually have a big one too, but yeah. that's different. It's like a raj kachori, different, wow. different thing. Okay. Yeah, there's so many different things in India, it's crazy, because every state has its own language. Wow. An unofficial language. There's like a thousand languages in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like, what I was referring like to. Like Hindi is the, is the, the main language. Then Got it. English is number two, mm -hmm. and then each state has its own. So like Kerala has Malaram, Maharashtra has Maharaj, uh, I don't even know how to say the language. Maharashtra the language? Ah, hard, but yeah, every single state has its own language. So it's a lot, that, and that's why some things, they'll call it one thing, same as that thing, but in a different state, different language, wow, you know? Wow, okay. So what do you think? <clears throat> I'm getting chili, I'm getting chili. So you're saying that this region where, where in India is this? Oh, so this is from Rajasthan. Okay. So in Rajasthan is one of those states that's like a very veg state. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so like India, I think 28, 26-28% are vegetarians. Mm -hmm. In this state, and the state next door, Gujarat, mm -hmm. that's north, that's like almost like Pakistan. Mm -hmm. So those states are like 70-80% veg. So everything you're having is mostly vegetarian. Of course it's vegetarian. Mm -hmm. It's good, right? Yeah. Mm. And there's actually chickpeas in here too. Learn new things every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Ghost pepper. Oh my gosh, ghost pepper. You got like nothing. Mine, mine, full of mine fell apart. <laughs> but I licked it. It's kind of spicy. Mmm. Mm. Oh, rice cake's so good. Mmm. Oh wow. Not so spicy. That ghost pepper. <laughs> <laughs> it lingers in your tongue. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We asked for too much spice. No, it's good. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. A little sauce. Mm -hmm. Manchurian sauce. Oh, that's really good. Very Chinese, right? Yeah. Oh, you mean it's spicy. Mmm. But it's tolerable. Mm -hmm. It's not like <gasps> I can't eat anymore, you know? Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> you know when your eyes start to like bleed? Your eyes bleeding right now? Not bleeding, but Definitely hot. <laughs> Are you turning oh. red because of that? Oh, I love it though. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so good, right? Yeah. This is the first time I tried this. The angry Italy. I think this is extra angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breaking sweats. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good, right? So Italy is like very spongy and it absorbs everything, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what happened here. Like you literally absorb that, that spice. <laughs> <clears throat> I know, I know. You should, you should eat one more of this because there's yogurt in here. Exactly. You know what? I'll get a it'll little. It'll cool bit. you down. I think it'll cool you down. I think it'll cool you down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's go for the yogurt, right? Mm hmm. Mm. I love that. Mm. Love these shots. See, in India, in India, I would have this. Yeah. Just one. 
For a dollar? Keep going. For a dollar. A dollar. Wow. You, you know what Southeast Asia, you know the I prices. Know. Prices are very, very yeah. affordable. So this is not a pizza, this is called Nadi Naan. So there's chicken tikka masala, there's mozzarella, and then we have jalapenos. Let's cut this open. Totally fine, you know? So that's the cool thing about eating with Asians, yeah. is that they don't give a Because we're, we're family style, everything. Exactly. Like, yeah. I think we're gonna use our hands for this, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. Wow. Beautiful. Let's do it. Mm. 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 It's a chicken tikka pizza. Yep. It is amazing. Yeah. Mm. Not too hot. Nice and creamy. I love the naan. It's like a like per perfectly cooked, right? Yeah. Baked nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's the gravy, right? I got the jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have put them like we would have told them to put more jalapeno, right? Mm. I love how they use naan instead of like regular piece of bread. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Piece of dough. Yeah, I love naan. Naan is like my favorite bread now. Mm. It's made in the tandoor, so tandoor oven, clay oven. And that's why it's like this. Obviously, this one's different because it was cooked in uh, in that oven, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because mm. that one's a wood oven. Mm -hmm. Indian pizza. Who knew? So I've had it actually okay, Indian pizza multiple times. I actually had it last night in San Jose, mm. amazing place. Mm -hmm. But Indian pizza, a hybrid in between Italian mm -hmm. and Indian. Yep. Basically what they add is they don't put tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. You notice, no tomato sauce. Yep. They just add like something with a gravy. Yeah. So you have that Indian feel mm -hmm. in a pizza. Got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Filling. Crazy. Delicious, huh? Good, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love finding places like this because you know, there's so many now popping up. This is a franchise, right? So they're mm -hmm. opening up more and more in, you know, specifically places where there's a lot of Indian populations. Mm -hmm. So we go to like, mm, like Edison, New Jersey, Dallas, Houston, wherever there's a lot of Indians, you're gonna find all these cool concepts. You know? That's why I'm from Texas. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, awesome. I'm from Texas. I went to school there. Oh, cool. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be big though. Are you ready for that? Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's like creamy. So there's rice in there as well, right? Yeah. Rice, tikka masala. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's go. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 It's so soft and buttery. Mm -hmm. yeah. Super buddy. I love the the wrap. So it's a tortilla wrap, right? Mm -hmm. and I think it's from um, corn flour. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Yeah, but then he put it in the wood, the wood oven. Remember? Okay, exactly. So he put it in the wood oven. Yeah. Then he filled it up with uh, chicken tikka. He got some rice in here. It's amazing. It's super creamy. Mm -hmm. This is like the perfect item to go. Yeah. You, know? you hur hurry up. You gotta get to work. Get this and go. Mm hmm. Mm. But I feel like <laughs> it's big enough where it can make you full for a whole entire day though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? for sure. I mean, this is, see, I've seen a few of these already in California, mm. mainly because the Mexican population yep. here is so big yep. and they've used the Indian yep. and Mexican, the burrito, right? Because people are so used to burrito. Yep. So it's easier to be like, hey, let me add some Indian ingredients yeah, exactly, in here, right? Exactly, exactly. And oh, that's man. the beautiful thing about being in California is that you're getting all sort of like fusion, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, especially Asians, right? Because so many Asians, obviously we have direct flights from California to all of Asia. Yep. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. So what was your favorite of these? Mm. What are you thinking? I really like the fries. I love the fries. I won't lie though. But you like this, the, the spicy, spicy one? Italy. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. I think I really like the fries because I think the, the, the choice of using sweet potato fries, mm -hmm. it just makes sense, you know, Ooh. with the spicy one. You keep Ooh. eating it. <laughs> it's like, oh, that chili, right? <laughs> wow. And I love this, you know, the place, right? So it's fast casual. Mm -hmm. They have a bar, so they have beer. They have some stuff on draft. They also have some Indian beer, the Taj beer. You can get some chai, definitely get chai. It's like traditional Indian tea, right? Don't ever call it tea, call it chai. <laughs> and I love this behind us, right? So you have a little, little mural. Yeah, so don't ever call this tea and don't ever call this sauce, okay? <laughs> 
I learned two things today. Yeah, you have to. Chutney and chai. Chutney and chai, exactly. Mm. Curry up now with Yen Kim Fang. Yes. That's, that's correct, Fang. right? Yes. Fang. So, foodie, you do San Francisco hardcore, but you also travel around the world, I travel right? all around the world. Amazing. Like, all around the world. Curry up now in San Francisco. They have also another location, from my understanding, somewhere else in San Francisco. In Oakland, actually. Oh, in Oakland, okay, awesome. So if you're in Oakland or San Francisco, definitely check them out. It is amazing. You have a variety, you know, big mix. You have traditional stuff, Indian street food. So you have a lot of curries. We have a lot of fusion and robots. And a lot of robots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a robot brings the food to the table. If you sit inside, if you sit outside, they bring you to you directly, right? And yeah, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Follow her. And we'll see you in the next travel food adventure. Summer around the world. Oh, I guess the masala fries. <laughs> I can't grab it. <laughs>